Welcome to WD-168. I'm your host, Sergei Arustamian. On September 21st, Armenians around the world celebrated the 30th anniversary of independence. At the Revondians Cathedral in Burbank, as in all parishes, prayers for the Republic of Armenia, Handra Petakan Mahtan, was offered. In his sermon, celebrant priest Father Manuk Markarian said it well, the source of our existence, of the Armenian nation, lies in the cross, the symbol of Christ's victorious resurrection. Father Manuk, we couldn't agree with you more. Scottsdale, Arizona, home to NBA legend Sir Charles Barkley, luxurious resorts, championship golf courses, and of course, our very own St. Apgar Armenian Church. Last Sunday, our diocesan primate celebrated the Divine Liturgy at St. Apgar. During the service, Hovna Sirpazan ordained acolytes, blessed the ACYO and Sunday school children, performed the blessing of the veils of the choir members, and honored parish council member Grigor Papazian with the Diocesan High Spirit Medal. Lebanon, the beautiful Mediterranean country, is facing a financial collapse that the World Bank has said could rank it amongst the world's worst since the mid-1800s. Since the fall of 2019, the Lebanese pound has lost 90% of its value, and annual inflation in 2020 was 85%. The shocking explosion in the port of Beirut only added to the desperation. The Armenian community of Lebanon has been rattled by the economic collapse. The Western Diocese, in a community-wide diocesan fundraiser, has raised and will transfer $50,000 in assistance through the Catholicosit of the Great House of Cilicia. If you're an aficionado of classical music, you'd surely know the works of Claude Debussy, one of the most influential composers of the late 19th and early 20th century. Do you know who impressed Debussy? Our very own Gomidas Vartabit. That narrator's voice from the Netflix documentary, Our Planet, is truly awesome. Komitas Vartapet was an Armenian priest, a musicologist, a composer, arranger, singer, and choir master, who is considered as the father of the Armenian National School of Music. A wunderkind, he is recognized as one of the pioneers of ethnomusicology. The 150th anniversary of Komitas Vartapet's birth was celebrated in 2019, and that year's Reclaim Conference was dedicated solely to reclaiming Komitas. To learn more about the sacred legacy of Komitas Vartapet, make sure to check out Father Vazgen's video, Remembering Komitas Vartapet, on the diocese's Facebook page. When Sinatra first sang, Fly me to the moon and let me sing among the stars. In 1962, he had no idea that he would be predicting the future. No, I'm not referring to NASA's Apollo 11 landing. Japanese billionaire Yusaku Mazawa and eight others are scheduled to travel on a six-day circumlunar mission in 2023. And yes, the eight others selected from the general public will fly with Mazawa free of charge. That does it for this week's edition of 168. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you again next week.